Is it weird for me to vlog with my sunglasses on? I don't know. Mmm. <sighs> I'm gonna try and take you guys thrifting with me. I'm gonna open this up. That would be nice. Let's open up the roof. Is this gonna create like weird shadows on my face? Sometimes like if I park with the roof open, I'm perpetually terrified that a bird is gonna like poop on me. It's just, ugh. I'll close it. Problem solved. So I'm gonna try and take you guys thrifting with me today. I'm sure that I'm promptly going to immediately be told to stop filming today at one of my favorite thrift locations. It's Half Off Wednesday. Every third Wednesday of the month, they do a manager's special sale where everything is half off. And I'm gonna try and do a DIY for you guys because I was inspired by Johnny Depp. Thank you to Swamp Family member Lee for sending me Leah, Lee. Uh, uh. Whenever there's not an Anne attached to Lee Ann, I just, I start saying it stupidly. But she sent me this from Topshop. I'm so excited. I feel like just topics in this video can't get a topic. And I keep trying to eat these french fries. They're burning hot, but this is lunch. Oh. Mm. I know people just go crazy when people eat in YouTube videos, so. I thought I'd do it! Mmm! This tastes so good. It needs more salt. Somebody bring the sodium, please. Sprinkle it on the bag. <laughs> that was gross. Okay, did I even ever finish one of the sentences in this video yet? Inspired by Johnny Depp to do a DIY for you guys. So, that's kind of what I'm going to the thrift store. Mainly, that's my main goal, is to get supplies so I can do this DIY video for you guys. Hopefully, you know, sometime by the end of the weekend, maybe. Can we be hopeful? I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see how it goes and see if I can get the supplies that I need, and then I guess that'll depend on when I can put the DIY up. But it's a coming. Granted, I have any luck at all finding what I need. So redundant. Yeah, yes. I'm literally on 45 minutes of sleep. I'm not even joking. I just don't sleep anymore. It's like I can't sleep at all. And I just lay there and I'm like, uh, 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 like for eight hours. And then I just get frustrated with it. But at least not being able to sleep allowed me to write back to a bunch of you guys last night who have sent me letters or boxes in the mail and you were waiting for me to write back in that self-addressed stamped envelope that so many of you guys send me. So I was able to actually write back to like tons of you guys. I think I wrote like 20 letters back last night. So hopefully some of you guys will be getting mail from me in the near future. Can I just like talk with my hands? I should be like a puppeteer. Wish me luck. We'll see how it goes. All right. Bye for now. So I'm literally hiding under some backpacks because this is the most shy I've ever been to vlog in my life. I don't even understand why. I'm just like, look, I'm, hi I'm hiding. I'm hiding under the backpacks. <sighs> okay. Da -da. You guys, I'm not really finding anything today. And on top of that, I don't see any of the three needed items for my DIY. So this may be a fail. We got sunglasses. Oh, yeah. Oh. I kind of like that color. It's nice and lavender. I've been here for about an hour and I really haven't had much luck at all. I thought this was kind of cool though, but I think it's kind of in bad shape, but this like leather satchel. It's actually like a faux leather, but some of the zippers on it don't work, so it is not worth $6.10. That's what it would be like half off. It was crazy in there today and I was so freaking shy about filming in the thrift store for some reason. I don't even know why. That was like the most phobic I've ever been to film in public and I don't know if it's just because there was like children screaming everywhere. I don't know why. I was just like totally freaked out. God, it's so hot and I'm so, so thirsty. Mm. Ugh. I hate that when your drink melts and then you're just drinking melty, watery kind of 
grossness. I guess I had like a mediocre kind of successful day. Things were kind of hectic in there and I wish I could have gotten here a little bit earlier. I feel like it was pretty picked over and unfortunately I didn't find one thing that I needed for the DIY. So that may not be happening this week now, but hopefully it will happen one day if I can find what I need. So I'm just gonna show you guys the few things that I did get today and it'll be like a little miniature thrift haul. This I found and I'm like 100% sure that it's not silver, like actual silver or anything, but I paid a dollar and five cents for this and it has a really cool like Victorian revival look. And honestly, this would probably go better with my wardrobe in the fall because I kind of wear like cravats and that's kind of when I bring more of the Victorian Gothic pieces that I wear. But I thought that this would be really cool for even like a Halloween look. I don't know, it makes me think of vampires. So I bought it and it was only a dollar. Next thing that I got is a synthetic leather butt bag and I paid half of $2.92 for this. So like a dollar and something. My math is really, really bad. I'm kind of planning on maybe doing some DIY with this and adding some spiked studs to the top or something like that. Because I've seen something like that, like similar to a studded kind of leather butt bag in Urban Outfitters, but the buckle on the Urban Outfitters one is metal and it is horrible, like it will never stay clasped. So I'm just gonna try and do a little cheapy DIY one instead. The other thing that I got that was really cool, I found this in the little girls section. I paid a dollar and five cents for this and it's a really awesome, almost like cosmic looking tie-dyed print. I love tie-dyed stuff, as some of you may know. The last three things that I got are just some really casual, summery type dresses. I'm really kind of trying Trying to figure out exactly what's classified as a skater dress. This is a nice little v-neck cut really cool cotton dress and it has pockets and it's in brand new condition and I paid half of $2.50 for it so $1.25. This dress I'm gonna try and do a little bit of DIY altering to it as well. It is a pretty much like straight skirted, you know, I mean, almost like a maxi skirt style dress. And it's got this stitching on the top and a little bit of like lace lattice looking stuff. I don't know, it's just really delicate and it was really, you know, kind of like a slim fit. You know, sometimes you find like maxi dresses like this and they're just kind of really overly blousey and oversized. This one really wasn't like that at all. And I'm gonna try and do some DIY and turn it into a high low dress. And I paid half of 270 for this. So once again, it's like a dollar and what, 30? 30 something cents, I don't know, $1.40? I don't know, pretty cheap, right? This is the last thing that I got, and I honestly bought this because it felt so 90s. I feel like this fabric is like the 90s in fabric form. It's like micro ribbing is what I would call this. I pretty much am 100% sure that there's no actual fabric called micro ribbing. It's got a curved seam instead of a straight one, so it kind of like, you know, hugs around your waist area, but then the skirt has some extra side panels in it, so it has just the slightest little bit of flair to it, but I just thought that this would be really great for, you know, the summer, and I can layer maybe a denim shirt over it. I got this for half of 360, so that's like, what? So that's it. I know it's not like a huge thrift haul, but kind of the thrift stores are crazy. This one is a little bit better priced, Actually, this one's a lot better priced. The one that I normally go to that's a little bit closer to my house, their prices are insane. But this one, I'm lucky to have gotten this little butt bag for so cheap because I found some other pretty cool purses in there, but they're like $20 and they're all scuffed up and just kind of cruddy looking. Like I've been looking forever for one of those kind of 90s style backpacks you know that you wore like across the shoulder and then you could unzip the straps and it would become like a backpack or you could zip the straps together and it would be like an over the shoulder bag i've been looking for months for one of those and this location is the only one i've seen them at but they're always like 
27 30 dollars and like ripped up and sometimes all the zippers don't even function just what is earth it's so tropicana i would love to see any kind of video response that y'all want to do about a thrift haul or whatever or leave me a comment down below let me know what you think of the things i bought please take a minute to subscribe become a member of the swamp family give an alligator its wings that's how we do it on the swamp if you want you can like my facebook page facebook.com slash graveyard girl or you can follow me on twitter tumblr or instagram at graveyard girl and i will see you guys later love you bye